Hello brothers and welcome back to another video. So can you scream as loud as you can in your gas mask because we are talking about Kriegers, the death core of Krieg because there is going to be some big stuff happening with the death core. As I mentioned a couple of weeks ago about the plastic death core rumor, it looks like GW are about to show it off in their next upcoming Warhammer 40,000 preview show, which is happening this Saturday. And of course, as you can see in the background with the death core in the banner, I actually never saw this when it first went live the other day. I just was too excited and just clicked on the actual article itself. Then after I posted it, everyone was going, Valrak, you know, death core are going to be a part of this because look, if you enhance the background image, it's right over there. I was like, oh God, this is going to be death core and it's also going to be orc as well. Now, I personally think that the show is probably going to be like 80% orc. It's just all the orc stuff that we've yet to see. They're going to ride that orc bandwagon right into our battle line. But I do think the rest of it could be dedicated to the upcoming kill team stuff. And that involves the death core. Again, I did a video on this a couple of weeks ago that goes into a bit more in depth about all this. I'm just going to try and summarize it as best I can. Basically, what I was told by my source, aka Alpharius. He's never betrayed me before. Um, he's always given me, you know, the right information. So I'm going to believe him until he does stab that sword in my back. Um, I was told that basically we're getting a kill team 2.0, like it's going to be a new kill team. There's going to be new rules involved in it. And to launch the new kill team, GW are bringing the death core and they're also going to be bringing orcs. We've kind of already seen this already with the CGI animation, which they put out during their Warhammer animation side reel and you get to see the some of the death core and you get to see some of the orcs um, it looks like pretty decent CGI so I'm thinking to myself if GW are investing this amount of money into CGI then surely the product itself must mean something big to them so it's going to be a big investment again I haven't seen the rules I haven't seen the models I've heard rumors that the orc models are possibly orc commandos but again there's no confirmation on that I'm just going off what I'm seeing actually in the CGI trailer and that guy looks kind of commando-ish. Now, one of the main questions I keep getting off people is that what does this mean now for the Death Corps of Krieg? What does it mean for the Imperial Guard? If the Death Corps of Krieg are getting something which is plastic, which is a part of Kill Team, is this just the start? Is Games Workshop basically testing the waters to see how well this will sell? I know from the community's response at seeing this and talking about this, they want the Death Corps to go plastic. I think there's everyone in this bloody comment section wants to see the Death Corps go plastic because a lot of us dislike resin. I know some people do like resin, but the majority of people dislike resin. And of course, resin is attached to Forge World, and the Forge World prices are a bit bizarre, as we all know. And maybe if they do bring that range to plastic, again, it may be if they do, I'm not saying they are doing, then maybe the prices can come down a little bit. I know we're in Dreamland here, and I've never, ever seen a GW um, put the prices down. But potentially, if they actually did take that, step i'm sure that a lot of people would turn their heads and actually start making guard armies because at the moment the only real option you've got is cadians and there's nothing wrong with cadians cadians are a great regiment but a lot of people myself included love the different mix of regiments that the imperial guard has i'm a huge praetorian fan i wish they'd bring praetorians back i don't think they'll do it mordi nine guard talon desert radius vostrians um, you know, Valhallans, all these awesome regiments that we used to have on the tabletop that were hugely supported ranges. You don't really have that option now. Yes, you can probably pick it up here and there for deals on eBay, and sometimes you can get a few squads over on the, the GW website. But all in all, they're just more or less dead regiments, and I don't see GW investing in them anytime soon. So hopefully, the Kriegers could be our next big hope when it comes to the Imperial Guard and the Imperial Guard getting a refresh. Because if they brought that range over to plastic, I personally think it would sell fantastically well. I would actually go on record to say it will probably be one of the best-selling armies that they've ever made in plastic format.
Whatever happens, I am looking forward to this. I think this is probably going to be one of the biggest preview shows that we've had this year, because in terms of the Orc stuff that's yet to be shown off, in terms of, of course, the Plastic Creek stuff, which we've been talking about, and maybe, just maybe, I'm sorry, I always talk about this, maybe this is the one where they actually tease us with a little bit of the upcoming Black Templar release, because, of course, the Black Templars are coming. For those of you who don't know, you haven't been watching my rumor videos, um, they're coming. The, the, the Sons of Dawn, the Crusadian Sons are coming. I'm hoping, I'm hoping maybe they'll give us a little bit of a blue ball at the end because all the 40k previews always end with a little bit of blue balling and I'm hoping that it is the Templars. I actually want to see like the full-on Krieg reveal during this. I, you know, I don't, I don't want to be blue balled by Krieg at the end of this. I want to see all the Krieg figures. I want to see the Orc Commandos, well, the potential Orc Commandos. Um, I want to see what this Kill Team box set potentially has inside of it, like terrain and everything like that. I don't want that to be like, you know, join us next time type of thing to see the full reveals. Like, no, show me everything that is coming with this new potential kill team launch. Um, anyway, that's enough waffling for me. I'm probably, I'm, I'm just I'm just, I'm just talking to myself here in the corner. Um, if you've got any thoughts, feedback, anything like that, post it down below and we can have a nice little chat in the comment section as we always do. See you now, have a great day and bye-bye.